Hi, everyone, and welcome to Crypto Channel Direct. Today, I'm going to be speaking with Bass Spitters. Now, Bass is the Associate Professor at Aarhus University and at Concordian Blockchain Research Center in Aarhus, Denmark. And he's going to join us to discuss the science behind smart contract hacks and how we can prevent them. Welcome, Bass. Hey, Clara. Thank you for, for having me. Bas, we know that cryptography is important in blockchains, but can you explain why we need science to implement it? Yes, of course. Um, so if the cryptography is not implemented correctly, uh, people can just print as much money as they want on the blockchain. They can just freely generate um, all kinds of transactions. So it's very important that we do this. We implement the cryptography correctly. Uh, this is part of a, a bigger field called high assurance cryptographic software that's uh, now developing between academia and industry. And this is very much used, well, this came out of the internet protocols where there were some very big problems, but this is now very current in blockchain research. Um, so this high assurance crypto, uh, cryptographic software uh, needs to be uh, correctly implemented. It needs to be secure, but it still needs to be at, as fast as the uh, unverified implementations. So this is very important. Um, this is uh, currently this is used in the Linux kernel, but also in all major browsers. Um, and uh, this field uses ideas from logic, programming language research, and from crypt cryptography. And we're working on this in my group in Cobra. And Bas, people have lost millions literally due to the hacks of smart contracts. And for example, hack of DAOs, bridges, and decentralized exchanges. Now, can science help us there? Uh, yes, that, I think that's very much the case. So, so these software problems, they have existed for a very long time, but before they were not as dramatic or as visible. Um, we, we had some uh, rockets exploding, for example, due to software errors, but those, those were the, the main examples. But now in the blockchain space, we see this basically every week that, that millions are, are actually disappearing or have, are being stolen. And there's a lot of research in uh, programming language to actually help us to develop safe languages. The WebAssembly, which is used by Concordium, is a, is a very good example of this. So it's been precisely, uh, precisely specified, and it's also proven to behave well. We're using very similar methods, or actually the same methods, um, for smart contracts in our concert framework. And then we can, um, can use verified compilers, compiler verification. So a compiler is a, a program that takes another program written in a high-level language and uh, compiles it to a low level language that's convenient for the machine. And what we have in the concert framework is a verified compiler for smart contracts. But does the use of safer languages actually guarantee that smart contracts cannot be hacked? So, so safe languages already help a lot. They, they help to catch a lot of errors. For example, in cryptographic implementations, 30% of the problems are due to memory safety, and that can be directly caught. Um, but to prove that an individual program actually behaves well and is secure, we need better, um, better methods. We, we need to do more. Um, and this is something that can already, uh, so, but by using these safe languages, usually we have a very precise meaning. And from this, we can actually prove that these programs have good properties. To come back to the uh, decentralized exchange you mentioned, a property you want of such an exchange is that uh, the number of coins stay uh, the same. So there, there will be an exchange of these coins, but no coins are coined out of, out of thin air. Um, now, this is actually something we proved. We've modeled such a smart contract, this, this decentralized exchange in our concert framework, and we proved that this property holds. We first tested it, and then we actually proved in a mathematical way, uh, completely checked by the computer, that this actually holds for this particular decentralized exchange. We've also done this for a number of other smart contracts like a, a DAO, a decentralized um, autonomous organization, and like bridges, and we've also applied it to voting. And we're working with the uh, Concordium, uh, uh, Concordium company to actually create standards for such certified smart contracts. And does this methodology also work for other aspects of the blockchain? Uh, it, it actually does, yes. So one other example where uh, we've actually applied this methodology is for the consensus protocol. So what Concordium is using is the Nakamoto proof of stake. And there's been a, a proof that the mathematical description of that protocol is actually both uh, safe and live. Live means that actually each time new blocks are actually produced. What we've done is to model this in a much more precise way and actually check that these properties continue to hold in this more precise model that's much closer to what's actually implemented and, and running on chain. 
And we've actually ver uh, completely verified that with a, uh, with a computer. That means that the peer review process, we checked that there were no gaps overlooked in that process because that peer review uh, process is still something that's done by humans. And it's much better to check these things also with a computer. Great, that's so interesting. Thank you very much for your time today, Bas. Thank you. Thank you.